Hey there, Dan's Beard here. I know it has been a tremendous amount of time. I, uh, I do apologize, there's been a lot going on. I've been getting hit up on Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook about when there's gonna be another long form video. Here we are, I'm gonna try not to ramble and we're gonna get right into this. Today, as the title says, we're gonna do a mullet. We're gonna do a DIY mullet. So hopefully this turns out good. And if it is good, I hope this actually helps you out for those of you that are looking on how to do a mullet. Oh, and mind you, we are at my brother's house, so there might be some uh, brief interruptions. Speak of the devil, Hello. this is my, my brother Jeremy. So we're at his house in Minnesota. And uh, yeah, let's have at it. What did he just get? Oh, he just gave me a brownie, so let's do this. Uh, oh, I guess I, I should probably show you what we're working with. All right, so this is what we're working with. I mean, I've obviously, I did shave off the, um, the beard I did that about a month ago, but I kept the stash. So that's something else that we're also gonna do. So we're gonna have the mullet and just a mean stash and hopefully it um, looks all right. Can you see that all right? Hopefully it's not um, clipped out, but that's what we're using. I'll link everything in the description box below. So yeah, let me wet down my hair and then we'll put in the clips. All right. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna do in regard to this fade, I guess you can call this a fade, is we're gonna set our first guideline. And I have a pair of trimmers right here. And I'm gonna go, I'm gonna cut a line from my ear to the front. So here we are, so here's the first guideline. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna grab a pair of clippers and we are gonna do a no guard. And we are gonna have the clipper open. So you're gonna put the lever to where the clippers are at the longest length and we're gonna go up about a half an inch and put our next guideline. All right, that's about a half an inch. I hope you can see that, that slight shading, the difference in color, boom. And so we did have it open and so now we're gonna close them and now we're going to work out that hard line that we have. Gradually, I'm just gonna slowly lower it and keep on working that line until it fades it out. And again, as you keep on working that line, keep on gradually closing that lever. All right, I think that's pretty clean, so here we are. So now that we're done with kind of rubbing out that hard line right there, that guideline, we're gonna grab the clippers again and now we're gonna have a number one. So this is a number one. And just like before, we're gonna start with the clippers, the lever all the way open so we're at the longest cutting length and we're gonna do the next guideline again about a half inch up. One thing that I forgot to mention, I don't know if you can tell what I'm doing, but what, when I'm going about a half inch up, I'm going in a C, so I'm kind of flicking out at the top, going in a curve, and that helps with the blend. Just like we did before, very similar to what we did before, now I'm going to close the lever on the one and work out this hard line that I have right here. So we're gonna work that out right there. So they were open, and now I am closing them to where they're cutting at the shortest length with that one guard on. All right, so this is what we have left with the one at the closed length. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna grab a half guard and work the way down and continue to knock out this guideline right here. So this one's gonna be a little more difficult to see. This is a half guard and I'm gonna start with it all the way open and then we're gonna continue to work our way down with the guard as we knock out this guideline. And what I'm doing right now to make it a tad bit shorter, I'm working the corner of the clippers to get it a little shorter. All right, so working my way down, it was all the way open. Now we're going in between all the way open and all the way closed. I don't think it looks too bad. So next up we have a number two. Boom, boom. And again, we have the number two and it is all the way open. And we're gonna go another half inch up for this next guideline. All right, again, so that was the number two all the way open and here's what we're working with. 
So now the next step, we're gonna grab the 1.5 guard and start with it open and just, this isn't as technical as this lower part right here, but again, we're gonna work in that hard line. All right, so here we are, one and a half with it all the way open. We're gonna work that line. The next thing that we're going to do is we're gonna grab a comb and some thinning shears. We're gonna go like this all the way up to make it nice and even while we're going up and kind of take away that excess body that you might have up here so that it doesn't puff out. So, so I think we're good. So we've kind of taken away the body that we had right here. Now what we're gonna do, everything that we did on this side, we're gonna go ahead and do on this side and I'm just gonna hurry up and do that so that I don't bore you. All right, so here we are. We have the fade done on both sides. Here is what we're working with. We have that side and this side. And as they say with the mullet, we have the, the party in the back and we have the business in front. So we're gonna be going a lot shorter in the front. We'll probably take that much off if you, uh, if you can see what I'm doing. So when we are taking the top off, we're gonna section this off and we're gonna go both horizontal and also vertical so that we're even all the way around. Here we go. Let's just go, just go, just go. Let's just do it. What I'm doing right now is I'm going through my hair and I'm making sure that there aren't any strands that are really sticking out. And the good thing about a mullet, at least from my perspective, is you want it to look dirty. So right here, I mean, it's even faded a little more than I would want it to be. But I mean, I'll, I'll definitely take it. I'm not gonna complain. Well, I guess I am kind of complaining, but I shouldn't complain because we do want it dirty. All right, so, so again, I'm going to continue looking through, making sure that there aren't any hairs that are a lot longer than the others which I don't think there are. Boom. And again, making sure, this is probably the third time that I've said this, as far as we want this crown, we don't wanna to touch this hair, so we wanna make sure to keep a separation from that. But yeah, so I guess what I'm gonna do now, we're not gonna stop there. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take down this scruff, we're gonna clean shave, and we're just gonna leave the stash. Oh, and we have a special guest appearance for everyone, I don't think anyone has actually met Nicole. This is Nicole, my fiance. <laughs> what do you what do you what do you think? Um, let me touch it. Wow. I think it's do, really do, hot. Do I have your approval? You definitely do. Okay. So so we have her approval. So I guess happy fiance, happy life. Is that how that works out? <laughs> Thank you. All right, here we go. We're gonna take care of this scruff. And then after we take care of the scruff with the precision trimmers, we're gonna go ahead and we're going to do a clean shave and leave the mustache. We're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna wet my face, put some shaving cream on, and then we're gonna clean shave this. And then after that, we'll do the hair and we'll see what we're left with. We're all finished with the clean shave, so last thing to do, we're gonna go ahead, we're going to style the hair, style the stash, and we'll see what we're left with. <laughs> all right, all right. Check this out, here we go. So we got the we got the business in front, we got the party in back. I mean, I automatically wanna use that accent uh, looking at myself right now, but I don't think it turned out too bad. Uh, I'll do a little 360 so you can check it out. 
All right, uh, let us know in the comment section below. Let me know how you think that this turned out, if I should have stopped, if I should have kept the scruff. And also for those of you that came here to actually learn how to cut your own mullet, let us know if you're actually gonna try it yourself. And if you do, please let me know and please tag me in your cut on Instagram or YouTube or Facebook or where, TikTok, wherever you put it, because I want to check it out. But yeah, um, all in all, I really do actually like this cut for the time being. Uh, yeah, till the next one. Peace! We out.